If you're a Cancer and curious about which healing crystals can bring harmony and healing into your life, then this video is made just for you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Natural Living. It is lovely to have you here. If you could give this video a like and subscribe to my channel before we get going, that would be very much appreciated. Without further ado, let's get into this video, which is all about the best healing crystals for Cancers. So obviously this star sign is next up in the astrological cycle. First off, we'll start off with the typical cancer traits, and then we'll get into the good stuff of the specific crystals that are best for cancers. So let's get into it. People born under the cancer star sign, which spans from June the 21st to July the 22nd, are often associated with several distinct traits. Cancer is ruled by the moon, which goes through phases, just like cancer's fluid and watery nature, because it's a water sign, of course. Using crystals with lunar qualities can be particularly beneficial for awakening your spiritual gift. Alibis such as things like intuition, clairvoyance, and energy healing are specifically potent while the sun is in Cancer. Cancers are, of course, kind of famous for their deep emotional sensitivity. They often feel things intensely and are highly empathetic, able to connect with other people's feelings, and they're very emotional. But that's not always a bad thing, of course. This sign is often associated with a strong nurturing instinct. Cancers are typically caring and protective, and they often play a caregiver role when they're in relationships, be it, be it friends, family, or partners. Cancers have a really strong intuition and can often sense the feelings and needs of other people, which is really a gift. They trust their gut instincts and are often guided by these. Once a Cancer forms a bond, they are incredibly loyal and devoted people. They value their relationships deeply and are often seen as reliable and trustworthy friends and partners. They also place a high value on home and family life. They often find comfort in their domestic environment and prioritize creating a safe and loving home. Cancers can be very protective of their loved ones. They will go to like enormous lengths to ensure the safety and well-being of their family and friends. Because of their emotional depth, Cancers can experience mood swings, of course. Their feelings can change quite rapidly and they may retreat into the, their shells if they're hurting or they're feeling overwhelmed. Many Cancers, of course, possess a rich imagination and are very creative people. They often express themselves through art, writing or other creative pursuits. They can be somewhat introverted and prefer intimate gatherings with their close friends or family over, you know, big, large social events or parties. They often need time alone to recharge, like a true int introvert. When they set their mind on something, Cancers can be really determined and persistent people. They work hard to achieve their goals, often with this kind of quiet underlying strength that doesn't always get noticed. These traits can, of course, vary in intensity from person to person, and other factors such as upbringing and life experiences also play a significant role in shaping an individual's personality. Now we're going to move on to the healing crystals that are best associated with Cancers, starting off with Moonstone. So I have a tiny little Moonstone sample here. I'm hoping to add to my little Moonstone collection soon, but for now, yeah, that, that's all I've got. <laughs> so this shimmery and magical crystal is essential for the Cancer Zodiac sign. Its reflective surface changes with the light, mirroring Cancer's association with the moon. Of course, Moonstone helps you to delve into your spiritual self, uncovering hidden psychic gifts and offering insights into mysteries, the unseen, and of course, dream realms as well. Moonstone also aligns with Cancer's protective nature. Represented by the crab with its tough outer shell, Cancer values feeling safe, held, and loved. Carrying this stone provides spiritual openness while simultaneously supporting strong energetic boundaries and psychic protection. Next up, we have Ruby. So Ruby is an energizing birthstone for Cancer Sun sign and is the birthstone for the month of July. Its vibrant color mirrors the intensity of your emotions and helps balance your temperament. This is an example of a raw cut ruby. So this obviously isn't, you know, the snazzy polished rubies that you find in all of these beautiful gold rings. This is just it in its raw form. And it definitely looks like, oh, <sighs> and it definitely looks like a fruit pastel for me. That was all I wanted to say before it jumped out of my hand. <laughs> Fear or insecurity can hinder a Cancerian's ability to pursue their goals, and Ruby's energy stimulates passion and motivation, filling you with the courage needed to tackle challenging tasks that may otherwise drain your ambitions. 
This precious gemstone also enhances higher consciousness and sharpens the mind. It works to improve things like mental clarity and concentration, whilst also adding in more effective communication too. Because cancers are quite sensitive, you could find ruby to be a bit overwhelming perhaps if you work with it. So I'd recommend like starting off small and building up, you know, using it for longer and longer periods of time. Perhaps you could just start off by using it for like one meditation or one morning and kind of monitoring how you feel. If you wanted to open your heart chakra, you could wear ruby in a pendant to keep it close to this energy center throughout the day, because this is a great stone for opening that area. Next up we have opal. So opal is a highly emotional stone because it's so associated with water and it mirrors the mood of its wearer, intensifying emotions and releasing inhibitions. It promotes freedom and independence while also enhancing cosmic consciousness and including psychic and mystical visions. Opal works really well to stimulate things like originality and creativity, helping to release anger and affirm self-worth facilitating the expression of your own true inner self. So if you're doing a lot of self-love work, this would be great for that. It also strengthens memory and creates an interest in the art. You could wear opal jewelry to attract things like loyalty, faithfulness, and spontaneity. Of course, it wouldn't be cancer if we didn't mention rose quartz. So this stone is perfectly matched to cancers. It resonates with the heart chakra, promoting healing in this area, which is of course, you know, a central space for cancers. It is especially beneficial for empathetic in individuals who can often absorb the emotions of people around them. So cancers tend to nurture and help others, sometimes at their own detriment or expense as well. So rose quartz serves as a reminder for cancers to care for themselves as well. As they journey towards self-love, the heart opening energy of rose quartz helps to address any things like self-doubt and self-loathing. This gentle stone encourages compassion and graciousness. Holding rose quartz over, again, your heart chakra can help calm the emotional body and help to explore themes of self-love and self-care. Next up, we have calcite. So this is an example of red calcite, or it kind of looks orangey to me, but I think it's categorized as red calcite. So what, what the crystals we're talking about in this video are different colors, but to just give you a general idea of what calcite looks like, because I don't have all of the different colors yet. <laughs> Bear with. Calcite is associated with cancer's ruling planet, the moon, and it is also a birthstone for cancer. Apologies if it's just suddenly got really dark. A huge black cloud has just covered the sky, so it looks like we're going to have a storm on our hands. So <laughs> enjoy the ASMR rain noise in the background. So calcite works as a powerful energy cleanser and amplifier. It removes stagnant energy and also works to encourage growth. Each different color of calcite resonates with different chakras and aspects of the Cancerian character. So here are three colors that are particularly beneficial for cancers. Starting off with green calcite. So this has a really soft energy. Green calcite aligns with the heart chakra and induces a sense of peace. It can help cancerians release limiting beliefs that are often rooted in things like fear and a false sense of security, whilst also stimulating compassion for oneself and others. Next up is blue calcite, which is also known as the stone of inspiration. So this is known for its comforting energy and healing properties. Blue calcite protects against negativity and induces a deep relaxation. Because it's a throat chakra crystal, it promotes clear, honest and kind communication. Lastly, we have pink calcite, which is also known as the stone of peace. So this tender heart chakra stone connects to all the angelic realms, radiating divine love and promoting forgiveness of oneself and of others too. It acts as like a metaphysical kind of comfort blanket, if you will, helping to release emotional suffering. So placing the appropriate colored crystal on the relevant chakra during things like meditation, will help cleanse and activate the specific chakra and therefore enhance your own practice. Next up, we have Bornite, which is also known as Peacock Ore, which is one of my personal favorite crystals. It is beautiful. So Cancerians often struggle with things like self-criticism, strict work ethics, and high expectations for themselves and for other people. So Bornite encourages you to find joy in everything you do helping you to understand diverse perspectives and encouraging you to kind of go with the flow more. Keeping Bornite nearby when you are stressed is a really good tool to help lighten your mood. 
because Cancerians often care a lot for other people, you can use Ball Night to bring more laughter in your day and to like help you not take your emotions so seriously. It provides a really kind of uplifting and joyous energy. So lastly, we have a crystal I've not actually mentioned before, which is called Chrysocala. So this serves as a powerful healer and offers profound benefits for cancers in particular. This is because this stone possesses the remarkable, remarkable ability to calm, cleanse and re-energize all of the chakras, promoting a really harmonious balance from within. For Cancerians prone to feelings of things like guilt, heartache, Chrysocala gently draws out these emotions, fostering deep healing and expanding their capacity for love. Furthermore, Chrysocala facilitates improved communication and opens pathways to enhance, enhance psychic visions as well. And it encourages things like self-awareness and inner equilibrium. Its influence extends to boosting confidence and sensitivity, often experienced by cancer individuals. In addition to its emotional healing properties, this crystal ignites personal power and ignites also creativity, empowering Cancerians to express themselves authentically and boldly. By dispelling this kind of negativity and providing motivation, it helps in overcoming phobias and reducing mental, mental tension. Chrysocala is also a beacon of truth-telling and impartiality, so guiding Cancers towards honesty and integrity with their actions. It has a really transformative energy and alleviates guilt and brings forth a sense of joy and liberation, enriching the lives of those who embrace its healing influence. So there we have it. There is everything there is to know about healing crystals for the Cancer Zodiac sign. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please let me know in the comments if you did. And if you have any requests at all, let me know again in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you found this video interesting, please don't forget to check out my Zodiac Sign playlist where we go through pretty much all of the Zodiac Signs now. I think there's only one or two left. And if you want to learn more about things like Rose Quartz or Moonstone, I have full videos on those too, which I will link in the description below for you. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Stay happy and blessed be.